very good morning to all my teachers and friends whom I haven't met for an year or two. Today we the members of Eco Club are going to make your morning a bit more energetic and pleasant. It's not same like the way we used to have our assemblies in school, roaming around, making scripts, missing lectures and all. But even if we are not together, we are still socially connected. And with this, we would like to begin the morning with our singers who will banish your sleep with their melodious voice. Humans lie in the bright sunshine, but its rays are tall of the friendly kind. UVA rays age the skin. UVB rays burn it, but just in case you thought it was all bad news. Ultraviolet light makes vitamin D. So now let us not look back and put forward our assembly with an enactment since expression is the best way to spread awareness. Hey Madeline, getting bored, wanna go for shopping? Right, let's go. Okay, I will get the keys. But first, switch off the air conditioner. But why? It's not needed. I will keep my room cool. No, it's wrong. The air conditioner releases CFCs which are also known as chlorofluorocarbons and these harm the ozone layer and hence our nature. Okay, thanks for such a great information. And now, let's take Amani and Bhavya along with us to the market. Sure guys, but wait a second, I need to drink some water first. Wait, don't throw it. It can be reused. We can clean this bottle and store water in it. Remember the four hours that are Reduce, reuse, refuse, and recycle. These are the one of the oldest mantra for protecting our environment. Reduce the use of harmful chemical products and gases. Reuse the products if possible. And we can recycle all the possible waste. We can refuse to buy the items which are made up of single-use plastic or the items which are manufactured individually. This can help us reduce global warming. Yes, this will help conserve a zone layer. And by this, I can do my part to save the environment. Thank you, Bhavya, Merlin and Kamakshi. Sorry, you guys, the markets will close and it won't be any fun. Hey, wait, I'm not ready. Hi, I haven't seen you guys in a while. Where are you all heading? Hi, Arshia, we are going to the mall for buying some food. Well, I'm also going there. I think we should carpool. In this way, it will help us reduce all the soot and smoke particles produced by cars. And this will not only protect our environment, but help us save more money. Yeah, you are right. Let's go to the mall next to the highway. I've heard that they have really very good quality stuff. No, we should go to the local market. That will reduce unnecessary traveling. We'll buy something to eat as well. No, we should avoid packed food or food with preservatives. In this way, we not only get fresh products but can also avoid food that has traveled long distances. In fact, the more distance traveled, the more nitrous oxide is produced due to the medium we use to transport that product. Absolutely correct. We all agree with you. In this way, we can conserve a zone layer from its depletion. The reduction in the ozone depleting substances has a very beneficial effect. The ozone depleting substances like the greenhouse gases contribute to a phenomena widely known as the greenhouse effect. The reduction in the emission of ozone depleting substances by the monetary protocol has protected both the ozone layer and the climate at the same time. To halt the depletion of the ozone layer, countries around the world agree to stop using ozone depleting substances. This agreement was formalized in the Vienna Convention for the Protection of the Ozone Layer in 1985 and the Montreal Protocol in Substances that Deplete the Ozone Layer in 1987. In 2009, the Vienna Convention and the Montreal Protocol became the first treaties in the history of the United Nations to achieve universal ratification. Substances covered by the protocol were CFCs, HCFCs, carbon tetrachloride, methyl bromide, etc. 
World Ozone Day is observed on September 16 every year to spread awareness among people about the depletion of ozone layer and find possible solutions to preserve it. On this day, people from all over the world hold talks and seminars on the ozone layer. Educators teach students about the benefits of the ozone layer and special events and activities are organized to spread awareness. It is imperative that we put our efforts and investments into tackling climatic change and protecting nature and the ecosystems that sustain us. World Ozone Day marks the importance about the ozone layer in our environment. On this day, various types of activities and programs are being held in order to make people aware about the importance of ozone layer, about the depletion of ozone layer and how to protect it. But now these days, due to excessive use of fluorofluorocarbons, it is making a deep negative impact on our mother earth and thus it is very essential to minimize the use of chlorofluorocarbons to save our mother earth. Depletion of ozone was first discovered in the 1980s. The first region to have been fell under the impact of ozone depletion was Antarctic. When its effects were first discovered in Antarctic, Monterey Protocol was signed in 1987, which resulted in reduction of the use of CFC. After Antarctic, it was Arctic's turn to bear the brunt of ozone destruction, where 80% of ozone depletion was found in 2011. Ozone has always been like a protective blanket all around Earth and has enabled life to thrive on it. But now that it has started forming holes in it, all life forms will be affected and this will have a huge impact on the food chain. After Antarctic, now it's the turn of Arctic to bear the brunt of depleted ozone layer. Researchers have found that during the spring of 2011, ozone destruction of about 80% was observed 12 miles above the Arctic ice sheet in the Earth's atmosphere. This was the first instance of ozone depletion affecting the Arctic region. Till date, the scientists are still unaware for the reasons of the unusually strong polar vortex. Now let's look at some fun facts about ozone. Point number one, ozone is also called as dry oxygen and it is pale blue in color with a strong smell. Point number two, Venus also has a thin layer of ozone at an altitude of 100 kilometers above the planet's surface. Point number three, each chlorine molecule from a CFC can destroy up to 1 lakh ozone molecules and out of every 10 million air molecules, 2 million are of normal oxygen and only 3 are of ozone. Unfair, right? Now coming to the end, we must remember that earth without ozone is like a house without a roof. Whenever we commit any action which harms the ozone, we must remember that we do not have any other home to live. So, this World Ozone Day, let's all pledge to use less of things which deplete this layer, try and go eco-friendly and earth-friendly, and make this earth a better and safer place to live. Let's all go green, go genius, stand tall, stamp the carbon, and stitch the ozone. Thank you.